Yeah, there's a masculine energy here who's afraid. There's a masculine in the reverse who's a karmic <clears throat> that was trying to herd someone like a sheep. It's like they were trying to keep them confined, use control tactics, um, possibly even where they live. Um, man, this is like locking someone in your basement kind of shit. It's like somebody wanted to control when you eat, um, you know, if you're healthy, if you're sick. Um, they wanted you for resources. They wanted to control your resources, how much money you make. Um, someone um, playing the piano. So I know there was another way I looked at this. A lot of times I look at this as like someone was trying to is trying to play you like a piano, but um, you could be very gifted musically or. Um, Somebody wants to travel towards you. There's something somebody wants to do. Playing the piano. It's like you took control back of your life and somebody wants to come towards you. It's like you've been paddling up a canoe like against... It's like you're going upstream against the current, but you're making something happen. It's like maybe you have gifts that you didn't know you had. So maybe you can like play something by ear or maybe you're playing something by ear. That's what it is. I was trying to figure it out. Um, I knew that there was another way I looked at that card. So you could be playing something by ear. You've gone through some through a, through a transformation and maybe you're waiting on divine timing or you've been waiting on um, direction from your spirit guides or something like that. It's like you're playing something by ear and kind of going with the flow. Yeah, going with the flow, paddling up a canoe. Even though you're going against the current, uh, maybe you kind of just stop fighting things or fighting with people and you're just kind of going with the flow and letting life take you where you're, you know, being divinely guided to where you're meant to go. Especially because someone has gone through such links to cause you such trouble. Um, they could have, like, stolen your identity, gotten you fired. Um, they could have gotten court judgments against you. It's like you could have been attacked from, like, all angles. And somebody was trying to control every aspect of your life. So you may have been between a rock and a hard place. So you finally just surrendered to, you know, the divine and just put it in God's hands. And you're kind of just being directed divinely. That's part of the transformation Somebody that you lived in a house with took a leap um, in the wrong direction. Um, it's like they jumped into something, uh, possibly even kicking you out of a house or um, trying to stop you from getting a house. And they didn't think something through before they did it. Maybe they didn't think you would have divine protection if they um, took away your ability to get a house. So maybe if they stole your identity or ruined your credit or something like that, maybe they thought you wouldn't be able to move forward. But something backfired because while you were in isolation or while you were being attacked, you went through a transformation and you learned to solely rely on the divine. Somebody wanted to take your treasure Somebody didn't also see you as a treasure. The Wheel of Fortune is not on the side of this karmic energy for coming against you because you are a high priestess. You are connected to the, to the divine. You went from empress to high priestess. You elevated to a level that um, it's like you're untouchable. Even though people try. There's a Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse. And you're moving forward. You're traveling away from this person. So wh whatever tactics this person used against you, um, whether you're a man or woman... Um, it didn't work. In fact, it pushed you into a transformation to where you just started speaking your truth and you're at peace. You became more at peace. You started speaking your truth and you stopped caring more about what people thought. Um, and you stopped react reacting based on emotions. So somebody could have also been trying to trigger you with emotions. So maybe before your transformation, you reacted more emotionally than logically. And someone um, failed miserably um, because they thought they were being stealthy and sneaky by um, getting a third party involved in this, whether it was a third party relationship or just a third party that was working against you to do this to you. Somebody still sees you as their Ten of Cups and their happiness, even though that somebody else did this to you, a karmic did this to you. 
somebody still sees you as a happiness, um, as they're happily ever after. So somebody wanted you broke and poor and, you know, on the shitty side of things because they didn't want you to feel loved. They didn't want you to be happy. Uh, but somebody still loves you. Somebody wants to be happy with you. Somebody was the queen of swords in the reverse. Somebody was a liar. Somebody is getting awakened to something. So you could have had a female liar and then a king of cups working together against you. That could be the third party situation that was going on. Um, because you're the high priestess. So we have a feminine energy in the queen of swords. And then we have a masculine energy in the king of cups. Somebody who is emotionally unbalanced. Somebody who is very reactive. Um does things like impulsively without thinking something through and somebody is getting enlightened that this person was not an official person somebody who is not a true spiritual leader and someone is getting a message of concern here um someone is very concerned about what they're hearing or seeing someone wants to come into union with you there could be a marriage a marriage celebration or a union coming together there's going to be a ten of cups so somebody could be getting a proposal I'm getting strong Ace of Cups energy. I told you, Ace of <laughs> I split the deck. I said Ace of Cups, and there's Ace of Cups in balance. Somebody wants to balance something out with a love proposal, uh, possibly even a marriage proposal. I told you I was feeling that shit. I love it when that happens. There is a masculine energy. Man, this reads on point. Uh, I mean, the energy that I'm feeling in the cards is just so on point with what I'm feeling energetically um, coming through the cards. The emperor in the reverse is a tyrant energy, somebody who was a father figure, lover, um, you know, ex-spouse, something like that. They were trying to keep somebody bound and trapped. So that is somebody who is trying to take your freedom from you and keep you from having any options. That is that king of cups energy in the reverse, and they use the help of a feminine um, that queen of swords in the reverse to attack you in some way. Yeah. This emperor said you were not caring. You were not a good parent. They could have used your children against you um, to control you and take your freedom away. Um, this person was a true tyrant and they were not caring or empathetic and they didn't give you your flowers. Even if you were married to them, they didn't treat you well. They treated you like shit. This person was an abuser. Yeah, you had to heal from some sort of heartbreak. This emperor in reverse caused you heartbreak. They were not someone who was held in high honor, and they betrayed you in the worst way possible, especially if you had children, because they used your own children against you. And you're going into a new cycle, and with this new cycle comes a new love offer and a new beginning. You've gone through a transformation, and someone is so in love with the new you. Like, somebody loves the person that you have become. It's like you're a completely different animal. Um, yeah and somebody is sad that you're in a new cycle so you have set yourself free from this tyrant maybe you did an energy um cord cutting ritual or something like that maybe you had to do multiple cord cutting rituals <laughs> Maybe this person is still causing conflict for you, but whatever opportunities they had to try to actually get you confined or trapped, they failed. And luck is not on their side. They're having bad luck, and they're sad and miserable. They wanted you to be sad. They wanted you to be alone and sad and crying, and they are exactly sad because their wishes are not getting fulfilled. Especially with those back-to-back. -back. So this person's wishes fulfillment is not getting done. Um, their wishes are not coming true and they're sad. And they're also sad because they wanted you to be alone and crying. And that's not what happened. This was somebody that you were in a relationship with. This was a past union. This was somebody that you m may have been married to. Um, if not, you were in a committed relationship with this person and it didn't work out. You're going to be celebrating. There's going to be a get together or a group, um, a social event or family event 
uh, maybe for the holidays or something. You could be getting an invitation to like a Christmas dinner or something like that. And somebody wants to offer you your flowers. So somebody, um, somebody could be getting a proposal at Christmas dinner. I'm getting congratulations in advance. Not to spoil the surprise. And don't get mad at me if you don't get a proposal. <laughs> I'm just saying. For someone, that is going to be the case. I feel like something is wanting to come out. The cards are going everywhere. Someone could be shocked. Maybe if you get a marriage proposal or something, this could be shocking to everybody. Or maybe you. Someone is going to be shocked about something. That came out sideways, so that could be near future energy. So in the very near future, someone is going to be shocked about something. Oh, yeah. There's a witchy energy here. <clears throat> Whether it's masculine or feminine, um, we had both come out in the reverse as karmics. But somebody is upset that their illusions um, didn't work, that somebody saw through the illusions that they, cre they created about a person. Um, they didn't want to go through a change. They didn't go through any transformation, especially spiritually. Um, they could have said that you didn't go through a change, that you're the same person you were like maybe even 20 years ago. They were going off old information and they could have told some sort of lies about you from back when you were like in high school or something. You could be a grown ass middle aged woman or man or even past that, you know, take it how it resonates. Somebody was bringing up old shit and they don't even know you. You're having a new beginning. You're on your path. You've started your journey to where you are meant to be. You are on your divine path. You are right where you are supposed to be. So if anyone is trying to get you off of your path, kick them in the nuts. If they have them. I'm not, <laughs> don't, I'm not condoning any violence, but I'm just saying they deserve to be kicked in the nuts. You know, don't take that literally. That doesn't mean literally. Kick them in their baby can and whatever floats your boat. If they're man or woman, <laughs> kick them in their chicky nuggies or their baby can and... <laughs> Yeah, there's the masculine energy in the reverse again. So there's that tyrant energy um, that was making up a lot of lies and telling people that you didn't go through some sort of change, that you act childish, that you're immature, um, that you have a bad temper. And that is exactly what this person is. This person acts like a child. They said that you acted like a child, but this person was a child. And if you have children with this person, they use them against you as well. They thought you were naive and stupid, um, man, and they were immature, and even if they're older than you, they were very immature with their actions. They didn't grow up, especially mentally. This person is very mental. Um, let me check these cards. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords here who is a liar. You're in your manifest mode. So this person caused an injustice to you, especially in the courts. So this is someone that was working with the Emperor in reverse here. As I said, there's a masculine and a feminine karmic energy here. There's some sort of swift action that's going to be taken. And there's going to be a big tower moment, unforeseen events, circumstances. Events are out of everyone's control. Everything is in God's hands now. People are literally going to be jumping and screaming when this tower hits, um, especially the karmics, because they do not see this coming. They thought that they were never going to get caught for what they did. They got away with it for so long, and they think they're going to continue getting away with it. So when this tower moment hits, it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. You know, like at Home Alone, when, the, you know... Uh, Macaulay Culkin's up throwing bricks down. I think it's um, uh, the second home alone. And he's like hitting him in the head with the bricks and shit. That's what it's going to be like. It's going to be like they're trying to dodge bricks that are coming, falling at their head. 
this was a karmic situation, a karmic relationship with the emperor. So this was somebody that you were in a committed relationship with. It's come out like three times already. So confirmation after confirmation. You have a positive outcome. This person caused you heartbreak, but you have a positive outcome on the other side of this. It doesn't matter how long it's taken. You have a positive outcome if you're in the upright because you are on the right path. You are building a legacy. You are in your life's calling. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, and don't you forget it. Especially if you're on your spiritual journey. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. You are in a new cycle. Someone is taking a moment to pause and reflect about your strength, your courage, your perseverance. What a bad mama jamma you are, whether you're a man or woman. Um, there's a lot of emotions going on about this. There's a lot of emotions going on about what you've survived and what you've gone through. People are emotional about this, especially that karmic. This karmic is emotional because they couldn't destroy you. They couldn't keep you trapped. It's like trying to cage a lion. And as soon as that door opens, you, tw I don't want to say it, but it's like you rip their throat out. Like it's, it's like not only did they try to keep you in a cage, they abused you the entire time. It's like poking a lion, prodding a lion, antagonizing them, like teasing them. And then they waited, they unlocked the door, and then they turned around for two seconds and it was over. That's what's going to happen here. The fat lady has sung. Somebody wants to enter into a contract with you. This could be a legal contract. I'm hearing legally binding contracts. So this could be a marriage or this could be a business contract. Um, so you have somebody blocked or you changed your number or somebody cannot contact you. I blocked you or you blocked me. Um, somebody wants to enter into some sort of contract with you or you blocked somebody from your past that you were in a contract with because they were doing this shit to you. Look at how it resonates. You are driving somebody crazy, um, and we all have baggage, so somebody wants to accept you, baggage and all, crazy exes and all. Um, it's like, your life could be the craziest mess, and someone's like, eh, we all have baggage, I can't get you out of my head, I want you, and I want you now, I want you to be mine forever, kind of shit. But in a good way. <laughs> Something was meant to happen in divine timing. It's all in divine timing. Don't believe what you hear. So somebody could have listened to something or some sort of rumors or maybe somebody believed what somebody told them for a little bit. Maybe um, they said something that upset you. Um, maybe they accused you of doing something. Um and you blocked them, or maybe you just got tired of dealing with someone's bullshit, they were spreading rumors, maybe somebody came to you and was asking you about this shit, and you got pissed off, and maybe you blocked this person because you caught, um, something tripped you up, like a red flag, something that somebody said when you were having a conversation with them triggered you and let you know that they were working with someone, um, like your ex, um, that was in, they were working against you to do something to you. Something triggered you because they were both pointing out your mistakes. Okay. And they loved doing this. There's two people here and they intentionally caused an injustice to you. So keep that in mind. But there's something that somebody said that triggered you and you may have blocked somebody, uh, because they gave themselves away. Narcs are really good at telling on themselves if you listen. You just got to clean out your ears. They tell on themselves. They like the bragging rights. They like to rub it, stuff in people's faces. They like to flaunt shit. Um, and both of these people are narcissists, so they definitely like to flaunt. Um, especially if they feel like they have some sort of victory over you. They like to rub it in your face or, like, you know, drop little nuggets of, ha ha, I gotcha, and... Yeah, so you blocked this person, both of them maybe.
like father, like son. So one of these people could be like the father of your children. Um, you could be the father. Um, this could be your wife. Take it how it resonates. Somehow a father and son are involved in this. Whether you have a son, whether, um, you know, whatever. Someone is beating a dead horse by thinking that they could overpower you. Somebody didn't think outside the box. Somebody was not very intelligent about what they did, especially attacking somebody that they have a child with, if that is the case. They didn't want to see the light. March could be significant. And honey, you are the real deal, the real McCoy. And Aries could be significant. And someone is as white as a sheet because you are a good, kind soul. And this karmic energy is hitting the panic button. There could be something significant about July with a Libra. And you are going to be happy as a clam. And that's the twist of fate. This hook and crook, this person was a thief. This, these karmics, what, we're going to take something from you. Or we're going to do anything by hook or crook to have you isolated. Have you restrained, take your freedom, and try to control your life in some way. <clears throat> but they were barking up the wrong tree. This entire flock, birds of a feather flock together, the, this entire group failed miserably. Yeah, there's an emperor here in the reverse or a masculine energy who is trying to keep their true personality hidden. And, and an entire group walked away from this person. Everyone that was working with this person walked away. They're like, no, no, you're obsessed. You're not seeing something clearly like these people failed. But there's an entire group here, whether it's church, community, family members, their posse, um, their little gang stalking group. There's a whole group that walked away from this masculine and what they were doing. They don't want to play anymore. They, they were playing a game that they were never going to win because you went through the transformation. You are the high priestess. You cannot fuck with a true high priestess that has a connection to the divine, whether you're a male or female priest or priestess. It doesn't matter. They cannot fuck with someone who is unfuck withable. And this union that you are meant to be with is going to happen. This man and woman in the upright, this union is going to happen. There's nothing they can do to stop it. So y'all just need to get along down the road. Yeah, even this person's friends, there's like a, th a group of three guys standing here. Even their friends turn their back on them. They're like, dude, we don't want to hear about it. We're not involved. We're done. This, They've been experiencing bad luck ever since they started attacking this high priest or priestess. Gee, I wonder why. I guess those return descenders have been working. Good for you guys. Yeah, someone even tried to get some sort of photo evidence of you or take pictures of you. Even that person's backing out. They're like, no, man. No, man. My life's falling apart. My wife ran off with the dog and my best friend. Like, my life turned to shit ever since I started this. I'm out, dude. Even the motherfucker trying to t watch you, catch you on camera doing something's like, nope, dude, I'm out. I'm hearing this dude say, I've never listened to more country, sad so country songs in my whole life. Like, these motherfuckers are all singing the blues. And if they don't quit, they're going to find out the hard way. Carried by six or judged by twelve. And if the karma doesn't hit them directly, it's hitting their family members. Yeah. There was an entire group. The gang stalking group here. Yeah. They thought something was all fun and games while they were doing it. Trying to make someone paranoid. Um, trying to scare somebody. They're all backing out because they fucking know better now. They've learned. They're learning the hard way, but they're learning. Yep. There's a, there's a, someone who has turned their, another person. Um, man, someone that was working really hard with this person. That could be their boyfriend, their down low lover. Even they turned their back on this masculine. You see that? Because they can't get the resources. 
um, someone's turning their back because maybe this emperor does not have resources to pay them anymore. So this could be like a lawyer person, somebody that was paid to do something. So somebody that was getting paid to do something has turned their back on this person too because this emperor in reverse energy um, does not have the finances to pay this person anymore. They're broke. And they were promised resources. They were promised to get that milk from the cow and they didn't get it. And they're not going to. Instead, their lives all turned to shit. Now their houses are being haunted. All that spell work backfired horribly, man. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, they were dark. Their dark shit is going back to them. If they wanted to cause harm to you and your children, something's going to happen to their children, and I'm not wishing that on anybody. I'm just saying someone's breaking the silence because they're afraid of dark energy coming back to them, and it's not because you're doing dark shit. It's because it's their own shit going back to them. That's how karma works, dear. Don't get mad at the messenger for giving the messages. If you were a goddamn karmic, you wouldn't be going through this shit. How many times do I have to say this? How many times does every reader have to say this? If you don't do karmic shit, karmic things wouldn't happen to you. Your life wouldn't be shit if you were in the upright. Okay? Yes, bad things can still happen to you. But your bad luck is brought to you by your own shit. You're going to be celebrating the person who is in the upright, not the karmic bullshit, because no one else comes close to you. You actually are someone who is held in high honor. You survived things that were meant to fucking take you out. Poisoning. Um, unaliving attempts. How many unaliving attempts? And pe these people were howling at the moon. You know in the Bible where people are breaking out in boils and shit, and they're screaming and howling in pain and agony? That's what's happening to this group. Why? Because they fucked with the divine person. And if they're not yet, they're going to be. Because you walk the straight and narrow. I walk the line and these people are playing fucking games. And they tried to take you out. Unalive you. And someone even had their mistress involved in this. And they're all hitting rock bottom. They're all getting bad luck. Every one of these thieves. Every one of these thieves. Beautiful thieves. You'll never hear the end of it how lucky you are. Somebody wants to love the shit out of you. Welcome to the family. You're getting married. You're getting engaged. Congratulations. I love you. Love you, fam. Someone's got a funny feeling that they're going out to eternity or going to a rusty cage. This keeps coming out over and over again. That is exactly what's going to happen. Because they fucked with the wrong one and they're looking tragic now they're praying to be set free after they wanted you to be bound and trapped to something. Now they're now you're being liberated. You're being set free. These are all fallen angels, and they wouldn't give up. No giving up. You are going to have your happy family. It's just in the cars. That's what's that's what's happening for you. So let's pull a few letters here. Remember, this could be person, place, or thing. The letter Y could be significant. Why? Because it's fucking time. T. Thank you. Someone's saying thank you. You're welcome. G. Time to go. I'm hearing time to go. A. Tag, you're it. Tay. Taylor could be significant. H. I. the fuck C oh there's a corrections officer that's going to be involved something's going to be happening by Christmas ho came out ho 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 Z and last one and the letter K so I have I-K-A-G-C-T-Y-H-O-N-Z. Have a good night, folks.